Good morning. It's bright and early. It's a little bit later than I wanted to go. We wanted to leave like a half hour ago, but our bed was just so warm this morning. So yeah. <laughs> it's 7 a.m. right now. We're gonna head out. We're bundled up. And we're gonna go surf the surf. Swim. We're gonna go surf those Southern Florida waves, baby. Here's what we got going on. Our wetsuits are still wet, but that'll do. Backpack full of essentials. When I have that Amazon store up for you guys, you can, um, you'll see this bag on there. Grab that. Grab all my keys and stuff, a water, my little coffee cup. And an orange, and we're good to go. All right, we made it to the beach. It's like pretty much flat. They're like not really waves, but but I'm still gonna get in to surf what there is. It'll be good practice. It's awfully cold though. I can't even lie. Okay, I just got out of the water, and they were just too small today. The longboard. A longer board was doing okay, but I just don't really like that board. I think I'm just, I think I just got used to my board. Yeah, so we didn't really, I didn't really, I was in there for like less than an hour and Avery was too scared to, <laughs> scared of the sharks. I want to go today when the waves are the bigger, like at one or two. All right, back from the beach, um, we got back like a little while ago and I mean, it was literally like 9 a.m., right? Can we go back? Yeah, probably. It was, it was like, like 9.30. Yeah, so it was still like early morning. And we had breakfast and just like cuddled for a few minutes. And <laughs> And now I'm going to go to the gym because... I like to, but Avery's not coming today. No, I, I want to surf later. I don't feel like working out. Me, Me with my double chin. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm still cold from surfing because my hair's wet. Yeah. Gonna go to the gym. back eat some lunch lunch and then we're going back go because mm -hmm. the waves are going to be better at one yeah. okay time to make some lunch um after i got back from surfing i went to the gym took a shower and made a tiktok and yeah now i'm gonna make myself something to eat so Oh, also look what Avery got me today. <laughs> she went to the store and she saw these pepper socks and got them for me. How cute. Um, I think I'm going to make a salad because I got stuff for it this week. So, might as well. I always do this thing where when I buy salad stuff, I never eat it. So, I'm going to eat it this week. So, I'll show you guys after I make it, but... I have this bag of lettuce, these jalapenos to put on it. They're like pickled and fermented. And then pepper, cucumber, celery. It'll be pretty basic, but. Sounds Here she is. She looks like a McDonald's salad, but. This one does <laughs> not. It's going to taste real good. I'll tell you that much. You know what else tastes real good? Cucumbers. Okay, so I've been a bad vlogger today. I left my camera at home and then I was recording on my phone and accidentally deleted that footage. So, And then not only did I delete it, I accidentally deleted it from my recently deleted because I was trying to recover it and I clicked sleep accident. Anyways, I want to show you guys. We went to Target. This is literally all we did today once, like, from the last time I talked to you guys. We got these two light blue towels. Wait, I have to say something. What? And... In that phone vlog, I was actually talking a lot. Yes, she was. 
We think she needs to get checked out for um, having thyroid. a thyroid issue. I'm tired all the time. She's always tired. No energy. No energy. I mean, we do wake up early, but we don't even go to bed late. Like, you shouldn't be as tired as you are, I feel like. Yeah, I don't think And then we also just got some new body wash. Yeah. So, I think uh, what I'll do, because I don't think I got very much footage today. I think what I'll do is I'll go in depth on the pasta I'm making tonight. But Avery, I was wondering, because there's going to be chicken in it. Do you want me to use that rosemary and balsamic chicken that I, I got? It would, I think it would ruin the flavor. Okay, so then if you feel that way, can you make some chicken? Okay, use the rosemary. You don't want to make chicken? I'll make it. It's okay. And it's time to make dinner. Okay, let me turn on some extra lights. Oh my god, I always turn that on. Okay. Not so bad. That lighting's pretty okay. Alright, so. We need the pasta. Are you hungry at all, Avery? Yeah. Okay. The pasta. And I'm gonna need the frozen peas. And additionally, I'm gonna need this chicken right there. And lastly, but in my opinion, the best part, some broccoli. Okay. Oh, and I need the pesto. Pesto. That one. Okay. So that's all I really, that's all I need. Um... I'm going to think about what I want to do for a sec because I saw someone eating things with this type of ingredients, but I didn't have a recipe or anything. So I'm going to make it up as I normally do with like everything that I make. So I have to cook that obviously. This goes on last, but how do I want to cook these? I'm thinking about, oh, I can microwave these. So I think what I might do, hmm. I think I'm gonna microwave these and then since they'll be cooked, um, I'll just, or I'll cook them, I'll like microwave them for a little bit of the time and then I'll pop them in a pan with the peas and the chicken and just kind of like heat up because this is already cooked, these are just frozen and, but they're peas so they'll heat up quick and then broccoli just takes like an extra second to cook so I'll microwave that first. Okay, that should be pretty good and simple if you ask me okay let's get cooking okay so the very first thing i'm going to do is grab a pot and actually no first thing i'm going to do is pop the broccoli in the microwave hi i'm back <laughs> i love you you can cook now. What? You can cook now. Uh, no. Nini! <laughs> oh my god. I want help. Okay, so now I'm just cutting the chicken into bite sized pieces. You want it? Yeah. Like so. Okay, so first thing I did was I cut up some onion and garlic and I'm sauteing this with some oil in a pan and let that just like brown up a bit before I add everything else in. And I just decided that, I think what I'm gonna do is we're actually, we're gonna eat it with red sauce, but I'm gonna cook with the pesto. You'll see what I mean, but it's gonna be real Wait, delish. No, 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 saucepan. I've got oil in my eye. Yes. Uh oh. Okay, so here's what we have going on. I have everything in here, the chicken, the peas, the broccoli, the onion, the garlic, all the above. 
And I have some seasoning, some like garlic powder, onion powder, everything with bagel, salt, pepper, a little bit of balsamic reduction because the chicken was already balsamic flavored, so just to enhance that balsamic flavor. And then I added some of this pesto in there. So it's like pesto veggie situation. And then with our pasta, we're gonna top it with the veggies and have some red sauce just for an extra like, you know? Cause this is like the, the um, pesto is like in the veggies, if that makes sense. All righty, here's the final product. I mean, I think it looks good. I think it'll be pretty good. Um, and then I also made us some like mini garlic breads. Let me try it before you do. And some mini dipping oil. Let me give it a go before Avery tries it. No, oh, those are really good. They are? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is fine too. Okay. I'm not at that fork, but I think it's really good. It is what it is. I was unprepared. What did you put in here? It's that crunch stuff, and then extra red pepper flakes, oil, and balsamic reduction. Okay, big ball of. <laughs> I know a better recipe, but we don't have the ingredients for it. Like, I know one that's like actually good. It's fine. I think it's good. Okay, it's edible. I know, it's not edible, it's really good. <laughs> Guys, I have to admit something to you. I have a recent obsession of drinking out of jars that we've used it's so like fulfilling to me i feel so sustainable she just asked <laughs> if if we could use our our candle just run out of wax and she asked if we could use that candle to drink. i was like you know what would be cool she's like if we drink out of that and i'm like if we make a smaller candle out of the rest of the wax <laughs> i'm sorry but like you can't tell me that like when you finish a jar of pickles or 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 salsa salsa or candle that like you're like instead of throwing it away you can be like oh i'm gonna pop it in the dishwasher and use it again like what and like those are the best glasses like i've never had such a perfect coffee as the one i did in the old salsa jar <laughs> just saying and they all have lids you can take them to go yeah it's sustainable i think a lot of people do that my mom like is obsessed she'll like take the giant pickle jars and she's like we can use it for something i'm like mom no we cannot and it'll sit under our drawer for like years but i use them we drink out of them because yeah, we I don't we like own like negative four glasses but um wait what was i gonna say i don't remember but it's good for the planet oh my god no i remember someone commented and was like you know you can like buy mason jars <laughs> and i was like uh, but then what happens when we throw away our glass jars then. Yeah. No one's gonna recycle those. Yeah. On that note, um, these cookies have been calling my name the past few hours. I'm going to have a little post dinner dessert. Shall I have green or white? I think I want. I don't want my mouth to turn green. Fun fact, Avery, I don't even think you know this about me, but something that was so embarrassing to me as a kid, so I like would refrain from eating certain things like around other kids, is I thought it was so embarrassing when your mouth turned a color from the food you ate. Like a blue lollipop or something, I would specifically not pick blue because I was afraid my mouth would turn blue. No way, blue. I would like get blue and rub it all over my lips and like mm -hmm. make everyone laugh. We would have been friends because you would have made me feel safe. Aww. That is so cute. But instead, like, I'm pro I'm sure what happened was I got a blue one one time and someone made fun of me. That's like normally how that's like how a lot of my insecurities started. One person pointed them out when I was little and now I never forgot them. Mmm. Why are these the best cookies ever? I know, right? Like why? Well, that's why I told chemicals. <laughs> I don't really know like what else to record because we're kind of just hanging. What should we do? 
arts and crafts. Like what? Hmm. I have an idea. Why? So, let's, we each get like four cookies of those cookies right there and we each have to create an extravagant dessert with it. Like something completely <laughs> different. And it looks completely different. With other ingredients? I mean, you don't have to. Wait, what do you think? Should we use other ingredients or should we just stick with the cookie and like... Okay, we're starting with three cookies each. You took the last butter knife. Sorry, snooze you lose. Now I have to compromise my time by washing water. I haven't started yet. No. <laughs> Hi everyone, I think Soph tapped out of the competition, but let me show you mine. Okay, so I call this cake ball a la cookie. So what I did was, I'm, I separated the cookie from the frosting, microwaved the frosting, and then put the cake in there, added a little bit of the frosting in, into the cookie, not sorry, not cake, cookie, and then mash it up into a ball and put it in the, in the frosting. So it's the same, but I only added a dash of almond milk. Wanna try? Okay, I am going to end off today's vlog right here. And so wait, this was day 11. Okay, so thank you so much for watching Vlogmas Day 11. Woo! Um, woo! I'm so happy with how Vlogmas is going so far. And we're getting closer and closer to our little pre-Christmas festivities, so get super excited for that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next vlog. Bye, love you.